I've met with Coach Goodwin over Zoom a couple times and talked with him. So a few times there. And uh, as far as like my versatility, I mean, I think it's a huge advantage for me. You know, I went down the senior bowl not having not played those positions before in practice in a game and anything, but I'm confident in my abilities as a football player and what I could do. So I was like really excited to get down there and showcase that, you know, I knew people wanted to see it and I had a lot of fun doing it. So that was a great experience for me. And I think, you know, it helped me a ton to get me where I'm at. Thank you. Yep. We'll go over to Joey Knight. Hey, Robert, can you hear me? Yep. Uh, just triple checking for those of us who didn't cover Notre Dame extensively, all 34 of your starts in college were at right tackle, correct? Correct. W what do you attribute to your versatility or your, your flexibility? Do you have a wrestling background? Uh, you know, what, what do you attribute your athleticism to? No, I'm not a wrestler. I'm, I'm just a football player. I mean, that's, that's what I do. I spend a lot of time working on that stuff and it really translates across the line. And uh, as soon as I knew, like I'd have to work on different positions, I started working on them. Um, so that's really the main thing for me is just to take whatever I need to do and try to improve it till it's as best as I can make it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'll go over to Mark Cook. Hey, Robert. Um, have you had that, that, you know, don't pinch me moment. I'm I'm going to be playing with with Tom Brady and a guy like Tristan Wirfs and Mike Evans and and Ryan Jensen. I mean, when you look at the star-studded team that won a Super Bowl, I mean, how surreal is this moment for you right now? Yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome. It's the the team they have, Super Bowl champs. Obviously, it's a great honor to get to go play with some of those uh, players you mentioned. But you know, just the the reality of getting to this point has been incredible. You know, I've worked for a long time to get here and. I got a long way to go, but I'm really excited for this part and uh, to take the next step with Tampa Bay. What What would you say is the biggest thing that you think you need to improve on to to become a starter in the NFL? I mean, I'm just going to be myself and be the same guy every day. Everything I've always done, you know, I'll come in with my work ethic that I use every day. And I'm just going to keep getting better technique wise, learn the playbook as fast as I can. And, you know, like you mentioned, some outstanding Hall of Famers that I'm going to play with, you know, those guys you know, learn a lot from them just by watching them and take, take uh, what they, what they teach me and apply it to myself every day. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go over to Tyler James. Hey, Robert, congratulations. What does it uh, mean to you that three Notre Dame offensive linemen were drafted in the first three rounds tonight? Thank you. Um, I mean, it's an, like, it's an honor. You know, I was so happy to see, Liam go and then Banks go and I can't wait to see Tommy go you know we've done so much together and we've been through a ton and I know how hard all those guys work to get to get to this point just like uh, we all we've done it together so it's been an absolute thrill working with them and I cannot wait to see where those guys career careers go as well it's it's a very exciting time thanks Robert mm -hmm. all right we'll go over to Josh Allen if anyone else has questions please raise your hand hey Robert congratulations Thank you. Kind of to bounce off Mark's question, what do you think your biggest strength is that you can bring into this facility, into this team and offensive line as a rookie? And where do you think, you know, how do you think your versatility will, will help you see the field early on, maybe as a jumbo tackle role, tight end role, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the, what the coaches' plans are for me yet, but whatever they ask me to do, I'll certainly put my best foot forward and um, do everything I can to improve at that. So I think that's going to be, going to be big for me. I was like, I, I kind of mentioned before, just consistency, being the same guy every day, doing what I've always done to the best of my ability, uh, doing my job and doing what's required to help the Bucks win. I mean, that's what I'm, what I'm going to do throughout the rest of my career. So I can't wait to get there and, and help them do that. We'll go over to Greg Allman. Hey, Robert, too. First of all, forgive me. How do you spell your, how do you pronounce your last name? Hainsey. Hainsey, okay, just like just like it's written. Next, thing. and I'm um, going to ask you just about your time at IMG. Did you get up to any Bucks games in your two years down in Bradenton? I did not. I did not. But I, <laughs> I was around the area, so I don't know how well I still know it. But because we kind of <laughs> stuck around there a little bit, but it's pretty cool to be going back down that way. Sure. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll go over to Mark Cook. Robert, one more quick thing. Um, last year we had Tristan Wirfs, obviously number one draft pick for the Buccaneers. And, you know, he said he's he's not really a real nasty type of guy. And then 
you look two spots over and you've got Ryan Jensen, who some people say is a bit of an instigator. How would you describe your style? Are you, are you that nice guy, help somebody up kind of guy? Or are you the kind of guy that wants to drive a guy into the turf and uh, make sure he, he doesn't get up on the next play? What, what's your mentality when you play offensive play? Yeah, I mean, you always got to play with an edge and just do everything you everything you can to whip the guy across from you. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's about doing your job and not letting down those other four guys on that un- in that unit with you on the field. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We'll go over to Joey Knight. So, Robert, you kind of sort of have a, a local connection. What led you down to IMG? And I assume you were there your junior and senior years? Yeah. Uh, what led me to IMG was I was – you know, I was up here in Pittsburgh, and then I kind of just got a call one day um, from them, and they just asked if I wanted to come play football down there. So I was a bit shocked, didn't really know how to take that. But uh, I went down and saw it with my parents. And for me, I just thought, you know, at that time I was going into my junior high school, I, I had high goals, I had high expectations for myself to get to pretty much where I'm at right now and everything in between. And I just thought, you know, if those are things I really, really want to do and I'm really committed to, this is this is something I got to do. I got to come down here and take this next step. Okay, that's all for tonight. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, guys.